And welcome back to the Autodesk Flame Beginners Tutorial Series. This is what we've been going over so far. We built a little uh, scary wooded glen with some cool little transitions. Ooh, glitchy. And then we want in create a little zombie green screen, comped in these boxes and the word zombie. Ah, made a nice little transition, glitchy transition. Made another glitchy transition with this little tracked in CG and a little guy back here. That's just part of the footage though. Went through and cut, did a little color grading and stuff. We'll do another pass of final grading in a little while. And right now we are going to take this little guy that we comped in. We got this cool little guy. We're gonna cut this up to the beat of the music. And then uh, make a little jump scare with him and towards the end of that little section. But first to get started, we're going to take this transition and place him. But before we do that, go on over to my Patreon account and check that out. There's going to be some custom content for you guys. If you guys uh, want to go ahead and, uh, you know, give me a little uh, a little support there, that'd be awesome. So first off, we're going to do a, the letter Q to add a track. I'm going to scoot this on back here. We'll grab this transition. We'll slide them on up here and kind of see what that is looking like. Oh, yeah, cool. It's going to be really cool with some nice sound design. Okay, let's kind of see something here. So this isn't rendered. So a little trick that I do to be able to just kind of get some real-time playback is turn off all my tracks. You're not going to be able to hear this because of the YouTube, YouTube Nazis, but I will be able to hear it. And you can play it back in your timeline. If you go back to one of the other tutorials, one of the beginning tutorials, you'll be able to download this music bed and sound effects. And then you can actually see what the timing is and stuff yourself. So we got those big old drum hits. So it's dun, dun, dun. We're gonna just hit some of those. So let's, let's just drop a couple markers here. So we're gonna hit this one right here, drop a marker with our little backslash. We'll grab that one. There's another one in here. Let's kind of zoom in. We can kind of see the waveform a little bit better. How about right about there? And there's also, also some sound design and stuff that we've kind of done here. And we'll place that to kind of complement our little jump scare that we're going to create in the next video. But the jump scare will be going in right about in here. But right now we're just going to kind of cut things in and make them look like a more glitchy type of a th type of a thing. Let's see here. We're going to do like a little intro of just seeing this this room. So that first little bit is going to be just fine. Page down so I can actually be on this track. You can see this little yellow indicator. The page up and page down moves that around so you can cut things. You can also click on the P right here for your point of interest. So I'm going to hit X for a cut. There it is. And then we're going to want to kind of jump to something, maybe something around here with him. I'm going to cut this part off, totally out. Cut that out, slide this on up here. And then this next piece, let's go ahead and just arrow up to the next little marker we got there. Gonna jump down the timeline on him, cut this on out. And to delete that, I'm just going delete on my delete key. Let's kind of go over how to set up a little, uh, a little hot key for something like that. If we go on into our preferences, sorry, keyboard shortcuts, we can add a, a shortcut here. Let's do a little search here for delete. And just arrow down to the next one. And that's the actual delete key. This one's already been created, but what you do is we'll just clear that on out. We'll kind of show you how to do this. So you just click on this, you click on the delete key where you want to apply it. You hit set, say confirm. Shortcut you're about to, so this is just saying that that shortcut is actually being used in other instances with throughout Flame. So I'm just going to keep those other instances and I'm going to hit save and then confirm on that and then close. That's how you kind of create like a little shortcut on your 
shortcuts shortcut on your shortcuts yep that's how it is so now we're going to cut right here something like this we're just going to take a couple frames out because we just have a little bit more of this uh shot left and i'll be doing some of these same transitions here to kind of get the little jumps going on making that look a little bit more smooth so to play that back we'll do a little render here okay all rendered up let's play that back and just kind of see how those are cutting in i really like how right in here you can see that little weird damage effect distort that we did in the earlier videos you can see that really move across him which is kind of a cool trippy little thing doom, doom. All right, so what we can do is then just take these transitions. We'll just keep that little jump right in there. Right here, we'll go ahead and paste the transition. Let's go ahead and go on in here and cut that transition into two. Shift them on down. And we can even cut that. Oh, not that, just an X. Maybe we'll stick that on down here or something. Let's quickly render that on out. There we go. There we go. It's kind of a cool little thing. So, doon, 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 doon. Okay, let's get this little jump scare. So we're going to do a jump scare of having this guy come lunging towards the camera in the next video, and we'll see you there. Hey, before the next video, go ahead and uh, click that little subscribe button, that little bell button, get notified with new videos, because there's going to be a lot of videos hitting up this channel, tons, we've already got a bunch produced.